Welcome to Kitchen XZ. This is the cooking show. It's not really a show. So kick back, relax, have some fun. Today we're going to make some peppermint bark. My favorite. Yeah, not the crap from the store. Some of that stuff really tastes nasty. It's like just grabbing a craptastic, sugarly, waxy chocolate and dumping toothpaste on it. And some crunchy ass candy cane. No, not this. We're going to have some real stuff. First, you get your dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, not so many sweet. And we go to the microwave. Stuff it in. <coughs> Depending on your microwave, it could be lower, lesser, or longer. Two minutes. I'm going to do a minute at a time. Burnt chocolate sucks. <laughs> and then we're going to smash these things. <laughs> Boom! He's putting them in a bag. What if it's smart? So <laughs> we're folding the paper towel over. <laughs> we have a runaway piece of candy. Aww. Aww. It's running away. Trying to survive to Christmas time. We were trying to be economical and save the last bag in the kitchen. <laughs> Not working. Oh, God, more runaway candy. Yeah, but this one's a microscopic. Oh, good. Oh. More? You can see that. <laughs> Honestly, you did it. Okay. This is how it's supposed to be done. Yeah. See little crunchies. This is when you can get all your aggression out. Yep. Ah, traffic, taxes, bills, politics. <laughs> Politicians that call me eight times a day. And, oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, no! Look at that. She's so <laughs> shiny. She <laughs> broke that. <laughs> You're supposed to bring the candy canes, not. <laughs> Yeah, I know that one. I guess it's older than me. Well, it is from the 70s. Yeah, older than me. Oh my See, god. It's quite broken. <laughs> well, it is broken, but these aren't quite all the way melted yet. See? But you want to just move it around a little. And you're going to put it in for another minute. I guess I know what I'm getting my mother for Christmas another marble rolling <laughs> pin. <laughs> Too. It did? Yeah. After 30 years. Well, it is 30 years old. Actually, I think it's more like 35. Holy shit, it's older than both of us. So, we gotta melt this stuff. And you wanna line your pan with aluminum foil or wax paper. And make it as flat as you can. Yeah. Unless if you want big, bumpy, ripply. Bark. bark, but that would be peppermint ocean, not bark. <laughs> <laughs> Go into the micro again. It's getting a little shiny in there. A little bit gooier. Oh, that's really beautiful. Well, hurry it up and bring it over here. Oh, While I use my fake Rhode Island accent. I don't think I could fake a Rhode Island accent. See? Melty goodness. Oh yeah, you don't want your candy canes hanging out there forever because they'll get stuck together. Yeah, that would be bad. Nothing oh. but clumpy, nasty, peppermint junk. Alright, stirring that up. And you don't want to take forever to put the chocolate on your pan because it'll start bowl into your bowl and again this is peppermint bark it's not peppermint bowl it's not peppermint anything else it's 
peppermint bark. You don't have to celebrate Christmas to enjoy this. It no. tastes good no matter what it's not right. Yeah, it could be holiday bark, not Christmas bark. No, don't get the Jolly Rancher flavored candy canes. That would be wrong. Doesn't go with the chocolate as well. It's not peppermint. It's not peppermint. Again, do peppermint bark. I like to hang out some people. They want to freeze it. We're not wasting time with that. It's already kind of slid in the way. Dump the white chocolate in there. We're going to do it for a minute. Because it's white chocolate. It's not as lazy. <laughs> Get this out Melt away. faster? Yeah. I got chocolate on my hands. Isn't that because white chocolate's fattier? Yeah, and also look at it. It's white. Yeah, it's just easier white. I mean, it's composed of different stuff. That's what I mean. It's not necessarily the fat content. Almost done. Yay. It takes forever. I know. Hey, today didn't melt as fast. Well, we were trying to melt less the other day. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering how much chocolate we use, that's 12 ounces dark chocolate, 12 ounces white chocolate. Yeah, we and just got a couple of bags at Whole Foods. Yeah, you could use whatever you want, but we decided to go organic. It just tastes a hell of a lot better. Nom, 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 nom. Oh yeah, we use 12 candy canes. You could use less. You could use more. Depends on how much crunch you want. Now with the white stuff, some people, they just dump in the white stuff on top and then sprinkle the peppermint cane in there. No. What we're going to do, we're going to stick half the candy cane in there and then mix that up with some nice peppermint extract. Peppermint extract makes the world difference here. Tastes so good. And many recipes will tell you that this stuff is optional and... It just doesn't have the same strong flav peppermint flavor if you don't use it. It's not optional. None of this is optional. <laughs> it's do or die. <laughs> it's do or die. You must do what Kat says or you die. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be toxic, you peppermint bark. Uh, Debbie bark. See. Yes, it's squishy. All right, mix it in. Squish, squish, squish. Squish, squish, squish. Let's see it. Oh, I said squishy. All right. Some do half a teaspoon. Some do one teaspoon. Some do two teaspoons. With this, do one teaspoon, half, one and a half. Really makes a hell of a lot of difference. Oh, that smells so good. I yeah. can't believe we have to wait for it to like. Harden in the fridge. Too bad you guys can't smell that on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, smell o vision. Oh, that was a little chunkier before. I think you gave uh, up trying to crunch it when the thing broke. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Just eat it. <laughs> My bad. If anybody knows of a good place to get a marble rolling pin. Would you please let me know? <laughs> yeah, let us know. Leave a comment below Facebook or Google+. Plus. And then you put it right on top. Who cares if it's not perfect? Do you see any perfect trees out there? 
No. A peppermint tree is never perfect. It's always twisted and weird looking. <laughs> How'd you ever seen the peppermint tree? If you haven't, go Willy Wonka's place. <laughs> so we're just spreading it on top. Like I said, you could cool the chocolate in the fridge first before you put the white layer on, but this is fine. And if you get a little brown in the white, that's okay. It just kind of like melts the flavors a little and gives it a little yeah. character. Yeah. It's supposed to look like snow on a Here tree. There we go. And then we yeah. top it off. And then give or take an hour to give this time to set up. Depending nice on how cold. cold your fridge is. About an hour. And you'll be all set to go. It look kind of like that. Depends on how evenly you get it. And also, we ate quite a bit of bark. Yeah, so from the last batch. So, but this is about what it'll look like. And when you're done with the cooling process, you can just break it up with your hands, cause. Yep. And it slides right off very easy from the foil. And then you haven't dirtied a pan, and you can just put it back in the uh, cupboard. Pardon me. Right. Well, we'll see you next time. Next time, we're probably going to make some latkes. And maybe you have a double feature of a drink now and then. So yeah. see you sometime. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. B